Welcome to Storage Chasers. We are storage unit buyers and resellers, and if that is your thing, you did come to the right place. And we are about to head out on the road to pick up another one, so stay tuned to follow the adventure. All right, we got a nice bright sunshiny day coming up and uh, we are about to head out on the road. We picked up another unit, um, got paperwork right here. We actually won this one on uh, Locker Fox. We spent a whole uh, $80 bidding this one on this one. Uh, this is a uh, kind of a unique uh, facility. Uh, if, you, if you don't buy too many storage units, you probably wouldn't know, but they do have some where they're unmanned facilities and you pay well when you win the unit you call them up and then you pay for the unit over the phone the whole amount instead of taking cash in and paying somebody at the counter and then they take you to the unit uh, so for this one here we uh, got the uh, let me get out of the sun here we got the paperwork printed out and we got to take uh, <laughs> take it out to the facility and uh, we're going to get a code to get in to the gate that they've already given us and then when we get there we we're going to get a code to unlock the unit and it should look like the pictures here I wanted to kind of go over the pictures briefly just why we bid on it and mainly it was because this here this is a chest freezer we do tend to sell a lot of those uh, out in our particular area because it's deer season and people need them for their deer and they just burn them up fast i guess i don't know but uh, that was one of the reasons the other reason was this little uh uh, water jug it had some change in the bottom of it i always think that that's kind of cool to find change in a unit the other stuff uh not super impressive you know for some of the pictures like i said this chest freezer the water jug with money it looks like a headboard maybe in here it looked like a tv sitting on top of one it's a little bit wider so it's an older style one as you can see in this picture here but uh, yeah we're gonna be heading up to uh, camden to uh, pick this one up and uh we will see you when we get there so stay tuned okay we have made it to our location this is the uh 10 federal self-storage uh, you can see it's a little unmanned it's got a little office here but there's nobody in there ever probably uh we have won a unit that's uh, over here number 66 we're gonna we showed you the pictures but let me uh, refresh your memory <laughs> On uh, the pictures and uh, so this is the pictures of what we bid on and uh, here be the live so yeah chest freezer which is why we were looking at the unit and uh, that always sells and there is a little thing of change and there's a flat TV and then there's some other stuff like a table and some other pieces of uh, stuff in here we're gonna get it all out of here and load it up into the uh, empty trailer and we'll see you when it's all empty all right unit uh, 66 emptied out cleaned out swept out wall to wall to wall to door better than when we got here uh, we're supposed to either leave the lock on the door or we're supposed to turn it into some kind of lock box place but I don't see a lock box return place on their little office here so uh, I'm probably just gonna end up leaving it on the lock but we have to call into this facility and let them know that we're done with it and then uh, they'll uh, mark it off our our uh, record so that we don't have to pay the $250 clean out fee whoo it's a big one all right well we will see you when we get back to our home base operations all right we have made it back to our home base of operations trailer is empty let's get into the good stuff all right, we found this wonderful moving blanket. It was attached on top of this interesting chair. Um, it's, a, it's a rocking chair. It's got a reclinery arm. Uh, it doesn't look all super spectacular here, but we could try to clean it and try to sell it. it doesn't say Lazy Boy or nothing on it that I can see, but I'll look at the bottom and and see because it's still still an interesting chair kind of matches the uh, couch set that we we're they have listed for sale so that's kind of weird 
maybe we can sell it all together i don't know uh next thing that was in there was this table and uh this is like a, almost a beat bistro height table it's got these weird things on the bottom uh i don't know if it's uh i mean they turn which doesn't really mean much to me but i don't know if they're supposed to be on there and it's made to go taller on purpose like this or if it's uh got some other purpose behind that I, I don't know maybe it's supposed to be a little bit lower I, I couldn't tell you it's supposed to have a leaf that comes with it we did not get the leaf we got just this table so we'll try and uh, wipe it down and post it up see if anybody's interested <laughs> uh, next thing we got was uh, this mirror for a bed or a dresser dresser mirror let me get the uh, uh, blankie off of here so we got this mirror here that goes on a dresser which we didn't get we have this mirror topper thingy that uh, doesn't have a dresser that goes with it either we got the matching headboard for this set and no rails no mattress no nothing else no footboard nothing with this unless this was the footboard but then why would it have a mirror on it so high up so no this goes on a dresser that's that and then we've got this thing here which is like matching for that and for this kind of <clears throat> so but this is all tied shut so that means they're hiding good stuff from us or hiding them from you you're not hiding them from me because i can get in here all right all right are we ready are we ready boo oh that was a bummer Looks like just pillows. Aww. And, and, and bugs. So bed bugs with the bed pillows. I mean, some of them are frilly. Maybe the frilly ones we can sell. Oh, man. Well, I mean, it's a kind of a dresser-ish thing. I mean, maybe. Maybe somebody could use like a TV stand, something. Got drawers. Let's go through the drawers too. Uh, all right. Well, it's got. Uh, there's a sheet. There's a fitted sheet. Here's a flat sheet. Here is. Uh, looks like another flat sheet. And uh, I'm not sure. Pillowcase. It's got some rufflies on the edge. I don't know. A couple of washcloths pillowcases uh, pillowcases cover sheet and there's a live bug there so mm, he's dead now and the next row down oh brand new ish in all right we got some uh dallas cowboys pillows they're uh in a bag i mean Right? I mean, this almost looks like, well, probably not what they came in, but kind of looks like they're brand newish. So, yeah, that'll be some, some resale value there. Uh, the dresser thingy, uh, okay, but let me empty the buggies out of there. And then, uh, looks like somebody spray foamed in here. <laughs> That's never a good thing. So, this is a very cheapy dresser, so that is not lining up with nothing, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is, and it is a, uh, that antique farmhouse-y kind of looking thing, right? Um, and what's silly is somebody will want that. I just was so bad about it. Anyway. We got the blankie uh we got this here which was a tv stand uh started to come apart as we were moving it into the trailer it has some got bugs on it too and here's the dallas cowboys hat looks pretty clean all right we'll put that with the dallas stuff and we get a little gift bug bag here let's see if there's any surprises in there and 
Now I'm worried. It's got something in it, but it's got buffalo socks. All right, so all right, maybe I need that for a white elephant gift or something. So yeah, that can stay there. <laughs> and that's it for that one. What's in here? Another pillow. It looks like a shoe. Is that a shoe in there? That's what it is. A slipper. <laughs> All right, there's a Sacho Tuo, I don't know, some kind of shoe. That's weird. Uh, we got other stuff on this shelf. Looks like some new reams of some paper, filler paper, some staple stuff, and uh, paperwork. Oh, and uh, personal pictures. So you guys are looking over here, you guys are looking over there, you're still looking over there because I still see stuff. And nope, still more personal pictures. And okay, so we got a got a package that had that in there. We had uh, some kind of antenna thing, and some kind of weird hose thing, and something in the bag. What's in the bag? It's a bag with uh, medical stuff. Ew! All right. Uh, here's some more decorative pillows. Uh, H, is that for Hogwarts or something? Uh, no, Modern Southern Home. Yeah, that was close. All right, so we got that. And there's another Modern Home. And, uh, and uh, another Icky Pillow. It goes with Icky Pillow Pile. And no other shoe. And the shelf. And uh, stuff. Yeah, this may need some uh, fabrication or destruction. <laughs> One of the two or the three. All right, uh, next thing was, uh, here's a Emerson TV. Didn't have any stands, so I guess it was hung on the wall. So, it um, doesn't look like it's got any cracks or anything in it. So, we'll plug it in and uh, get her tested out and see if she works. That may be, you know. 40, 50 bucks. Looks like it's only like a 32 inch TV or something. Uh, these are the reasons we actually bid on the unit uh, for fun. And uh, it's got, uh, got a little bit of change in there, not a whole bunch. Maybe a couple bucks, but it's still fun to find change in the units. And then this is a uh, Idolus little chest freezer. Looks like about a five cubic. And uh, Ooh, damn, not dirty. Hardly at all like the other ones that we get. Just uh, just dusty dirty, that's about it. So we will wipe her down and get her plugged in. Put a couple of bottles of water in there. Make sure they freeze up within a couple hours. And then we'll get her listed to go bye-bye to somebody else's house. Yeah, so that's a good one. All right, this is just stuff we found on the ground inside the unit. So some more change. Um, Magnifying glass, kind of cool. Nice all to go. That's kind of weird. Resmed thingy. Personal pictures. Don't want that. And uh, Resmed stuff. A couple of burnt CDs. And uh, yeah, so we got that. That'll be a transfer tote. And then we've got this cool red trash can with stuff in it oh. all right let's do a clear tv some kind of antenna thing here's mr crockpot all right so we got a crockpot lid and we got a crockpot base and so this is a bella kitchen smith that's a big one that's what she said right. so that's a pretty good size little crockpot we'll get her tested out Here's a uh, grand opening, black and decker, knife sharpening, can opener. All right. I mean, we'll we'll test that guy out. All right, these will sell. What else we get? Ooh, we got a little knife block. It's a baby knife block for baby knives. Stainless steel, nothing said on there. Um, not sure. Yeah, it's just got a couple... I'm looking like I'm missing one knife. Maybe it's in here somewhere. I'll look. What is this? Uh, looks like another crockpot, but it's smaller. 
It's a baby one. It's a baby crock pot. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. Look at that. It is so cute. And then we got the mama and the baby. And then we got a stainless steelish pot that says cow tails. Cow. I don't know. It says something on the bottom. <laughs> and then trash. In the bottom of the trash can. So we're missing a knife. Boo. All right, last box. This is where it's at. All right, we got uh, one of them uh, dryer racks for wash your clothes or wash your dishes, and then you put them on there. And then we've got this stuff. So we got a perfect kit and uh, a roll of paper towels. Always a good find. Uh, we got some trash. Ew. Roll of paper towels on a paper towel holder. What? That's crazy talk. All right. And uh, yeah. Um, that doesn't sound like nuts to me. Would have been good to have cashews, but no. More money, more money, more money. There's probably 60 cents in there. Wow. All right, what else we got? We got, uh, all right, looks like a little speaker thing and another little speaker thing here. And then here's a... Here we go. It's a Na Nava ne Nexa. Nexa? It's a Nexa Bluetooth something. I guess it, take, it looks like it gets CDs in the top. So it's got a whole. Oh, is that a remote port? There's a Nexa remote. It's got two speakers. Yes. Here's a. Here's a. Grill Master fifth place. Oh, that is kind of cute. Trash. There's a truck. Ooh, it's got a truck, it's got an engine. Compartmenting, wow. Um, I don't know, somebody may actually buy that at the flea market. You never know. Ooh, there's a car too. That's a car, brum brum. That's kind of cool. $21 on that. Oh, the trunk opens up. I don't know. We'll look it up. All right, we got a wire. Ooh, that's a, oh, it's open. That means it's empty. Oh, that would have been cool. It's a nice little uh, locked box for your car. Ooh, here's a remote. Is that for the Emerson? Uh, does not say. Kind of looks like a TV remote though. So, and that, and then this looks like it goes to the TV mounting thingy. And the TV mounting thingy, and there's the key. Ooh, does the key go to the lockbox? Maybe the key goes to the lockbox. Ha <laughs> ha, got keys to the lockbox. Here's more keys. Here's another key. We'll check, we'll check all that stuff out. Um, don't know. <clears throat> sugar shaker. Sugar, sugar, sugar shaker. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And a cup. And another key on a key. It's a key on a key on a key. And that is it. So, all right. You've seen it all now. Whew, we found some interesting little things. Uh, no clothes. Nasty pillows that will... Uh, get rid of we've got some interesting pillows we probably could sell got a couple pieces of furniture that we're gonna try to sell and uh like i said we got the uh the freezer which is the main thing we bought the unit for we knew we could flip so we're gonna get this uh, cleaned and tested really quick but then we also found these other uh little home appliances that are always good uh, sellers too including the tv so yeah all right so hopefully you uh like the video share subscribe all that good stuff as always we will talk to you later.